Hey, and welcome to another Rock Your Business video. So this channel has been dormant for a while now. And uh, originally I, I didn't think that I was coming back because I'm now uh, a private yoga teacher and I have a, uh, a mentor for uh, Katakomba, so that's my company. And um, uh, I no longer do business coaching and uh, uh, also, no longer studying it. Well, I'm kind of like I'm always studying business, but I'm not. I try to, I try to not do it. I try to refrain from it. So, um, uh, so it is, in, you know, an, an, an area of um, interest to me and something I really like to study. But um, I thought, okay, well, uh, uh, I know now how to use it. Um, so, I don't know if I, I'm still going to make Rock Your Business video. In fact, at some point I thought, no, I'm not. So I'm back for two reasons. One is because I just realized that in the Netherlands there is um, uh, still not, not enough awareness around this whole concept that if you're not in a payroll job that the work you are doing, even when it is, you know, when it has this language that is very, um, you know, derived from, from the professional world where people are in, uh, um, uh, on a payroll job, that your responsibilities are completely different. So we have this whole world where, where um, um, or whole country where people are, are working is independence but their their whole attitude but also their whole industry is behaving like it it's under the rules of of you know, and has the security of being a professional environment with everybody being on a payroll and i can imagine that in other countries uh, for example in the usa where uh, where there there is less of a difference between the liabilities and the risks that you run um, when you're on the payroll and um, versus the risks that you run when you are uh, an independent so they're closer together but here in um so everybody is you know like on their toes uh and is aware that they are um you know that they should be looking out for themselves so the situation here in the Netherlands may be very specific to where I live because we have these people who are in payroll jobs who are protected in all kinds of ways and then we have independents who because also because a lot of other legal reasons and because of, of the, our public sector really kind of like spilling over into uh, um, people who work as independents, we have a lot of independents who are not aware of their the nature of, of their business, they are not aware of that as an, as an independent, as an, you are an entrepreneur, and you should start with, okay, how much money do I need to make every year in order to live well now, in order to, uh, I don't know, any expenses that you uh, 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 are going to be having in the upcoming years. Uh, maybe you have children that will be going to college in some, within some time. You have your own retirement to take into account so then what is your revenue going to be? So we have entire sectors here in the Netherlands where that calculation is not the start of your business. The start of the business is, oh, you're going to, to the Chamber of Commerce. Yeah, well, <laughs> that is just, an, an, you know, that is something, that is just paperwork. That is not the business. But here in the Netherlands, that is really, um, you know, when someone says I, I I went to the Chamber of Commerce, that's kind of like you know saying that's what I did to become an independent, and they don't say um, I made a calculation and I'm now going to 
I build a company so that I can have this and this revenue. So uh, uh, yeah, it's 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 kind of that awareness that when you are an independent, that you should, um, you know, that it's it's almost like a very dangerous position if you if you if you keep going back and forth. And I myself have been guilty of this. So <laughs> another reason why I'm back in the channel. I was like. I need this channel so that I don't stay, well, I wouldn't say on the fence, but it's kind of like, you know, you need to have an awareness of what it is that you're doing and you're really an entrepreneur. And I, I was like, I, you know, I could use that myself. So, so here I am. So that was one very big reason that I thought, okay, even that super simple message of you're an entrepreneur, start thinking like one, and be aware that the people around you who are on in payroll jobs have an entirely different vibe, but also different, different. Um, um, they have protection that you don't. So they are in a completely different energy and thinking in different ways because they are in a completely different position. So you know that you shouldn't uh, um, look at them. For validation of what you do. Okay, well that didn't sound that simple, but <laughs> okay, that's my like most simple message is when you're an independent, you have responsibilities that are different, and um, uh, yeah, point. <laughs> that that's it. Okay, so that's the simple message, and then there was like a different um, um, message or a different kind of like intrigue or enigma that I encountered. And that is that uh, all business models, including the one or the system that I made, uh, I think like two years ago or something now, uh, which is this one, is the four layers of uh, like a, um, I call it, I think my rock star business or systems or uh, but rock your business. I would just, it's, I, it, I just call it rock your business. So rock your business and then it has four layers that it's very much about um, the male way of doing business. And then I realized, oh, there's this whole world to explore about what is the female way to do business. And I don't mean female as in done by a woman, but I mean that if you have, um, uh, there's, a dominant male quality and there is a dominant female quality and they're opposite to each other and you will um, um, naturally be inclined to take one of those two roles but in business we only have the male model so that means that if you are naturally good at the you know the female side or if you have like a natural understanding of that principle which I'm going to explain in a moment then you're out of your natural talents and natural zone of genius if you push yourself into that male um, paradigm so what I'm going to do today is like a first exploration of these four business layers, business types of business models, which are called work your business and see like, okay, but what is the, what would be the female way of, of having a business in this particular layer? Um, so first what's male, what's female? Male is when you give something, when you, um, uh, whether it's ideas or a system or uh, um, tangible things, you know, um, those are all male because you're you're bringing something from you to the other. So the the giving it, from you to them that is what makes it uh, male. So the male energy is a giving energy. The female energy is a receiving energy. Yeah, I, I do it. I just, just one sentence that you can, you can immediately feel the difference. I will do it again. The female energy 
So we see it. Thank you. That feels different, doesn't it? So what you're giving <laughs> when you're female or what is space. It's space for the other to give. <laughs> I, I just, I had a, a, a one video and I bookmarked it today and it said why INFPs, which is a personality system, system personalities, and INFP is one of the 16, and that's me. I am an INFP. It said why INFPs should keep their ideas for themselves. And I, I was kind of like, I know why. <laughs> but I like, here I am sharing my most, uh, um, revolutionary idea uh, with you because really no one is talking about it there is like a ton of youtube channels about the female way of doing business but they are about the female way of doing a man's business so it's not that that's not valid it's just that i'm taking it i'm taking it further so I'm saying a female way to do the business of giving is still not in your core zone of receiving. It's still not your natural talent to create a space where people can give, where people can be. So, it's not about the male being every man being this in this giving pushing entrepreneur selling energy and it's also not about every woman being in a being a good receiver a good facilitator a good listener so you can have a man being a very good receiver and being a very good facilitator and you can have a woman being an amazing salesperson and um, um, an exciting giver so it's not about the um, genders so let's go through these four layers and these four layers are already like um uh, you know when i thought them up when i had this insight into the system that was already a big uh um aha for me and now with the male female uh dimension to it it becomes even more meaningful to me even though i'm at the beginning of this journey of finding it out exactly how it works so this is the first time we're doing this. So the Rock Your Business System has four layers. And the first is the community layer. And that is where the business is kind of like a local business with people um, um, like a uh, local bakery or a local yoga studio. And, um, um, and it's also providers that are um, like, in the uh, semi semi public uh, that offer semi public services, like we have a lot of people who are um, who are who are professionals. They are independent, but they get paid by um, insurance companies, like health insurance companies. So they're not actually on the free market. So they are here they're in the community at the community level so community level business the second is the what i just call business so it's the business level of business and that's where you can sell to individuals and you are completely on the free market and um so for example a local uh um shop so a local uh um, i don't know clothes shop is at the community level but if you make a website and you start advertising and you have like a 
an Instagram uh, channel or account and you sell things through Instagram or Facebook, then you start marketing to individuals and you have bought your community based um, uh, clothing store to the business level. So you have brought it from a level where it's probably barely making any money because it's like a, you know, a, a closed store in a neighborhood somewhere. So you have to, like your only clients are the people who visit the neighborhood or the people who visit that town. And you have like opened it up to the whole nation and everybody can buy from you and everybody can follow you on, Insta on Instagram. So community is where you sell to groups and you sell to a specific geographical location. Business is when you become, uh, when you start selling to individuals. Then we have the art level and the art level is where you sell systems, where you sell, uh, um, yeah, things that you create yourself. So art is obviously like if you have, uh, if you've made an album or if you have made it, arts literally then you sell that but it's also when you have made a system so for example um, the mcdonald's is a franchising system so they don't sell burgers they sell systems and you know you can buy the system from them and then you are the one who is selling the burgers <laughs> so um selling a system that's also i would say an upgrade from being at business level, if you can systemize your business, if you can systemize what you can do, what you're doing, then you actually sell, then you can start selling the system. So you are, uh, um, uh, yeah, so you're at the art level. So for example, if you, if you um, um, are in the business of selling sunflower oil and trading sunflower oil, so you buy it on, one side of the planet, you sell it on the other. If you make that into a system and you say, with this system, you can uh, become a trader in any product that you want around the world. This system works everywhere. It's a, it's a system, a generic system that you can make work for any product in, the, in any industry. Then you have made a system and you're no, so, no longer selling um, um, or trading sunflower oil, you're trading the system that you used to trade sunflower oil. Okay, so you're at the art level. Then the rock star level is where you are marketing uh, um, yourself. So you're an interesting personality and you can now sell anything on the back of that. So we had a, um, a, a rock star here in the Netherlands and his name was um, Herman Roth and he was also a, um, an artist. So he could just make any painting, go on the street and sell it. Because he had invested so much in who he was and how he presented himself to um, or had been presenting himself to the world. Um, that he could then sell anything he wanted. So the rockstar level is the hardest to achieve, but if you have achieved it, then you can sell anything you want because it's like you've done the work, it's you. So now that we know this, and this is what I've been, this is kind of like the system as I have been sharing it with you up until now. But if, if coming from a female perspective, how does that work? Some levels I am I already have more of an idea than others. But we start at the community level. So if you are coming from a male perspective, you sell something. So you say we have the best bread. We uh, um, have a great yoga studio where you can take these and these classes. You know you verbalize what you sell and maybe you you specify why that thing that you sell will make your client feel really good make your client feel really healthy or 
you know, like that. So you have the product that you're selling and you specify why that certain product or service is good. That is the male way. So if you're in your male energy and in your giving energy, then that is how you do business at the, at the, uh, uh, the community level. The receiving energy, the providing space, means that you're selling the space. So it means that you say, for yoga studio, for example, uh, we have, uh, we invite, uh, uh, we invite you to come uh, and be present in our wonderful groups um, where you can be among your uh, uh, peers or uh, other uh, mothers or uh, um, so you sell not the yoga, you sell the group, you sell the space where they can be, where they are doing yoga. So you don't, you don't sell what you, what you give out, you sell the space that they can be in. So a different energy. <laughs> um, so that's, for yoga studios, I would know the difference between a male way of selling it and the female way of selling it. And like I said, it's not a gender thing. You can very much be a male yoga teacher and sell the space of these groups. Sell, hey, we welcome you on Thursday night. We have this beautiful beginner's class and uh, you be part of a, you know, small group, small community that starts discovering the miracles of yoga so it's it's not a gender thing okay the second one business layer you're now selling to individuals so you're no longer tied to geographical location the meal way is um uh, well you're selling and you're buying or you're selling to uh, your system to individuals um, uh, I'm looking at the clock. I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> but we're fine. We're fine. We'll we'll do. Um, uh, so the male way is is uh, uh, you're selling a service or you're selling a product. The female way would be to move back and have others come to whatever it is you're selling. So the clothing store, when it moves to internet and it becomes no longer a community-based business, but it becomes a, um, uh, a, a real business at the business level. The female way is to not sell, like, okay, I have these new clothes, whatever, but to make beautiful, like, collages of your beautiful store and, um, or, uh, like a photo of a beautiful outfit have some poetry with it and just a very small uh, link to um, the price or um, like a link to the, to where you can buy a certain item so you don't sell you create a space you create a space of beauty with that photo from the outfit and you attach a little bit of poetry or you know, a quote. And so you invite people in. You create, you don't sell, you create space. You create the space that is really appealing. And then your clients come in, <laughs> curious about this. So that is the way to sell in a feminine way on the business level. The third level, 
the art. Same thing, you're no longer selling your system, your franchise system, or you're no longer selling your art or your album, or you're not moving out, you're moving back and you're creating an atmosphere. You're showing your art studio. You're showing your record studio. And you have like just a link of, um, I don't know, we're inviting you for the, for the album presentation or be welcome to join the album presentation or um, or you create a beautiful uh, um, way to photograph your painting with, um, I don't know, uh, like a, a, in, in a very beautiful way and just like with the poetry and the and the clothing and at the second one you just lean back and let people kind of like find you just make the link to where that painting can be sold or purchased really really small just be inviting you're inviting people in to your art studio space or like imaginary or virtual art art um, uh, space you're letting them use their imagination and be part of your mental world and they can buy when they want, but you're not actually selling it. And for the rock star, it is, you're not that rock star that moves out and sells anything they want. When you're the rock star, according to a female, principle, then you lean back and you offer a space big enough to help the rock star. So that is the, what I have now. It's cyber, the 14th, the 14th of September, 2023. And um, this idea of male and female, business systems and that like everything I've heard and I've studied business like super super actively since 2017 but it was has been present since the 20th century in my life but since 2017 like super super intense I studied it the female way of doing business is like unheard of and if that video was correct about the INFP you know that we have to not tell our ideas <laughs> i'll put the link in below to the video you can find it out together what what is being said there then maybe i made a mistake sharing it but i don't really care that much because i'm like this is so important um yeah i want it out i want i want people to understand people who are high in that receiving energy that there are ways where we can start thinking differently about business so that you can stay in that, in that quality of being a good receiver, of being a good provider of a beautiful space for people to come, come in. Instead of you reinventing yourself into some kind of outward pushing energy, that is not your natural talent. Yeah, so um, this was the very first Rock Your Business video on this completely new topic, not just for me, but probably for, I don't know, the whole business world. And uh, um, yeah, let's go on this journey together. Let's see what we can find. Okay, see you next time. Bye.